Hi, I'm Colleen Rooney. Hi, I'm Melvin O'Doom. I am GK Barry. My name is Barry McGuigan. I'm Talisa. I'm Danny Jones. Hi, my name is Otima Wuse. I'm Alan Household. I'm Jane Moore. I'm Dean McCulloch, and I'm best known for waking up the nation every morning on BBC Radio 1. There'll be so many people watching right now that will have never seen my face, so here it is. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> You may know me from the band McFly, but also I am a coach on The Voice. I'm a journalist and a regular on Loose Women. I'm best known as a professional dancer on Strictly Come Dancing and a judge on Dancing on Ice. I used to be in a band called N-Dubs and an X-Factor judge. I am known for doing videos on TikTok, having my own podcast and being the youngest panellist on Loose Women. I'm best known for playing Tyrone Dobbs in Coronation Street. I've done a bit of everything really, books, fashion ranges, TV shows. I'm probably known for hosting the live lounge alongside my good mates Ricky and Charlie. I'm the former world featherweight boxing champion. I won the world title in front of 19 million people, but I don't think I was as concerned as I am going into the jungle, that's for sure. I've always been terrified to do this show, and I always said, oh my God, I'd never do it. I had so many fears about it. I've been camping once, and I said never, never, ever again will I do anything outdoors ever again, and here I am. Not really outdoorsy. Yeah, I'm just blagging it though, literally blagging it. Going into the jungle, hopefully I don't go into panic mode. What if there is something living inside the dunny? Although to be honest, with my nether regions descending, I think they're gonna be a lot more frightened than I am. I told my mum the other day and she nearly started to cry. She was like, oh my goodness, all the snakes. And she started praying at the end of the phone call conversation. I've stayed away from watching any of the clips of the stuff to try and not terrify myself. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that this is a dream come true. It's more like my worst nightmare come true. I'm not good with heights. I'm not good with animals. I'm not good with actually anything that this show entails. So really happy to be here. Spiders walking all over you, snakes hissing in your ear. <laughs> so snakes are my biggest, biggest fears. Like I have nightmares about snakes and spiders. Oh my God. Yeah, one bit me once, not a massive fan of them. My go-to if there is a spider is burn the house down or put it up for sale. I don't really do much there. No, we're not doing no cockroach ones, please. Rats, I'm not a lover of rats. When I think of them, they do give me shivers. Oh, loads of them everywhere. Until you're in a coffin with 50 snakes, you don't know how you're gonna react. In the business of boxing, you have to face your fears. You put your life on the line every time you step into the ring. So surely eating uh, kangaroos privates <laughs> couldn't be that challenging. The idea of a trial, I don't even think I'd be very good at it. I'm gonna be one of those people that screams and cries and mildly vomits. I definitely don't wanna go back into camp and say I've got two stars, but also if it wound people up, then it might be quite good to do it for that reason. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I am so excited to get to know everyone in that jungle. I want to know your birthplace, how many GCSEs you got. Like, I'm so nosy and they can't escape me, so they are forced to speak to me, which is incredible news. I think I'm most nervous about gelling with everybody. I think like deep down, I just really want to be loved and I just really want people to like see me for me. I've never been exposed as much as this in, in all my life. I think I'm up for a challenge for myself and so, I just thought, do it. I think I'm pretty good to live with. Like, I, well, actually, people wouldn't really know because I hate living with people. <laughs> How you deal with different personalities, that's going to be a challenge, without doubt. And all our idiosyncrasies and annoyances will come out undoubtedly, especially when you're being starved. <laughs> as long as I'm fed, everyone's, everyone's safe. <laughs> you just see me twitching like this. Like, can you just finish cooking the rice? You know, I can feed the kids, I can feed Wayne, but I just feel like in camp, I would like a chef to be in there. <laughs> if anyone wants salmonella, I am the woman for the job. Unless it's an air fryer, I won't go near it. My preparation has gone like this. I'm drinking more coffee, because I'm going to be missing out for a few weeks, and I'm drinking more Guinness, because I'm going to be missing out for a couple of weeks. But uh, I've bought some smaller clothes for when I get out, so that'll be fun. <laughs> what are my strengths? I'm very good at trivia, <laughs> so hopefully I might be good when Kiosk Kev asks those like really strange questions.
I used to say like, I would never do this show. And now look at me, I'm sitting here talking to you guys. This is wild. Anyone that goes in there is gonna come out the other side, a new version of themselves. I'm excited to meet the new version of me. Do I want to be queen of the jungle? Well, I mean, wouldn't harm, would it? <laughs> I am one that if I want to do something, I like to do it properly. So if I'm going in there, I want to stay to the end. King of the Jungle would literally top off my year, honestly. I'd love to be King of the Jungle. Waking up in the jungle every morning, like it makes my heart burst at the thought of it. I, I mean, ask me that in a couple of weeks when I'm like, oh, get me out of here. <laughs>